what's up all my fellow speedsters and all my humans throughout the multiverse it's kim here welcome back to another reaction channel so today we'll be reacting to star girl season one episode five last episode um uh, man things uh, they're already starting to build up the isa uh with uh sydney's team um she's already recruited isaac and artemis and we really got a lot of a lot of more fuck we really learned a lot more in this episode uh we learned that dr midnight's alive uh we're getting more and more developing the eclipse uh eclipse of story and his powers and um <clears throat> how he manipulates people and we're really diving more into that story and i can't wait to explore more uh they mentioned a name i believe it was bruce gordon i think blues Br wasn't bruce gordon one of uh the hosts of eclipse Hill in the comics i need to uh, uh look into that later in the comics uh when i get the chance but overall i really enjoyed uh last episode it was also a really cool um take with sportsmaster and Tigress. Uh, i really thought it did a good job with those characters and i really like the actor they chose for sportsmaster he seems like he has a blast on set and in a way it almost made me forget that they're villains so i'm very cu curious what they're gonna do next season with those two because they've been promoted to series regulars um next season i noticed that on a post on instagram so that's gonna be interesting um my i'm really worried that they're gonna start bringing back too many original jsa members i am glad that they I, i'm a bit conflicted because i was really worried they were gonna bring in too many teenage characters and it was just gonna turn into an off-brand teen titans but now i'm really worried that they're just gonna start bringing back a bunch of characters from the original jsa because kind of takes away the sense of danger from the premiere because that was really big the isa wiped out the jsa completely with very few members surviving so i'm very curious how they're going to balance that out and we haven't seen starman in a while so um i'm wondering if we're going to see him a little bit in this episode because it seems like he's slowly finding his way to blue valley and really they need all the help they can get if they're going to stop eclipso and the new isa so I'm very curious how they're going to handle this, but um, yeah, guys, without further ado, let's, uh, without me rambling anymore, uh, let's just jump in right, right into the reaction. Mom! Mom! Cindy? Cindy, honey? Oh, we're getting some Cindy backstory, okay. And he won't find us. But he eventually does. Yeah, didn't they say that Cindy accidentally killed, um, her mom? Last season, I thought that's what they said. They'll probably tell me in this episode. Alright, I like this. We're getting more of Sydney's backstory. Because I thought Sydney was an okay villain. I just found her a little annoying. Uh, but a good rival for uh, Courtney last season. But I do like that they're adding more backstory to her uh, character. To make her a more three-dimensional character. Okay, what's going to happen? The suspense is killing me. We're spending quite a lot of time on this shot. Oh, that's Dragon King, isn't it? Damn. Oh, no. No, don't. Don't bring in Cameron. He's such a good guy, man. Please don't. Oh, she has ice powers too? Okay, so this ice uh, meta ability must be in, has been in the family for a while then. If she has them. Oh, sh okay, I did not see this coming. Holy shit. Out. And we're not going to ask the shade for help. He's killed people, Court. He's not on our side. Your ideas do kind of align with each other so i mean you kind of need all the help you can get i do understand why pat is so i do understand why pat is so hesitant on trusting him You're i mean sure there's nothing else because yeah oh, come on pat i i understand he means well but i feel like pat needs to tell courtney because they're gonna come and face eclipso sooner or later i understand why pat doesn't want to trust um shade i mean from his perspective he killed dr midnight but obviously we know that's not true now oh man i like i like cameron it's gonna be so heartbreaking to see him join the isa because it's bound to happen 
Ooh. Everything you can. Show her. Okay, so the teacher's gonna be his wingman? Oh, fuck. For fuck's sake. Don't. Please, don't. Your mom died. Oh said, no, don't do this. I never liked her. I forgot that, Cindy. So do not tell me you're sorry about my dad. <gasps> Shit! I've never been sorry. Damn! Alright, Cameron isn't no fool. About anything. Damn. I never seen Cameron so serious before. Oh no. The person you remind me of was family what no as to why are they trying to say that shade is somehow connected to courtney's family then we won't rest until we find him hell yeah until you hear his voice again <clears throat> god damn you got that covid bro Oh, what the fuck? Oh, he's puking out paint. What the fuck is... Oh, that's not good. That is not good. So let's find a JSA project that we can work on. Together. Together. Really? Hell yeah. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll start with the small one and... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's cool. It's um great. It'll be good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Aw. You got it. Man, I really love the family dynamic in this show. Let's head home. It's gonna be my dad. Man. Please don't join the ISA, man. Weird. Weird how? Oh, uh, is he gonna show the sketches? Well, usually I, I do. It's me. <laughs> Man, they have such good chemistry. Man, they're cute together, man. I I really don't want this dude to do the evil path. This is the one tie I don't want him to do to comic accuracy. What the fuck? I see it now. What's happening to him? Beautiful. Oh, so you gonna turn to a metahuman? Oh no, this is not good. Talent could seem selfish too. Oh, are they are they gonna kiss? Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Come on! Everything okay? The drawing weirded you out, didn't it? No, not at all. You can sketch me as many times as you want. Oh, he did. You did this to me last year, Gordon. Damn it. Always leave. Or never show. God, oh man. Man, poor guy. Now I'm very curious, what are the intentions of the grandmother? Because at first, she wanted to not have Jordan, I mean, Cameron be with uh, Courtney, but the grandfather said to have him live his life. And now, she doesn't want Sydney near him, so I'm very curious what her motivations are. Oh damn, there's paint everywhere. Ah, oh, black diamond right there. That's not good. That is not a good sign. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck is that? Man, they really nailed the horror elements for this season. Holy shit. He's dead because of you. They both are. 
Oh shit. Over here, Rick. Who's the monster? Him. Oh damn. He's getting into their heads. What's happening to your life? It's being ripped apart. Damn. Yeah, they don't know what they're up against. I am blinded by its darkness. Oh shit. I see nothing. Only darkness. Then you need to see the light. Oh hell yeah. Can you see the light? I can feel it. Holy shit, this is some really good effects. Come on, man. Oh no, is it killing him? Oh, it's too much, isn't it? Oh, it oh she killed him. Mr. Dysinger? Oh no, it was too much for him. Muse. I lost my muse. Damn. Situation. I told him you forgot something at school and that you found him. Okay, at least he got a story. I made us see things. It was like Eclipso was working through Mr. Dysinger. Okay, Pat, it's time to let everything out of the bag at this point. I mean, but he didn't have the black diamond on. They need to know what they're up against, man. You got to tell them. Clipso's getting stronger. It's time you it's time you tell him everything, man. I mean that his powers they're spreading beyond the black diamond. That's not good. We haven't decided to go through with it yet. Damn. You know that doesn't change how much we love you, right? I don't understand. Um, I really do need Seriously? to go to the hospital. Oh, man. Maybe we should talk more tonight as a family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Let's, let's, let's do that. Okay, at least they're now talking about it. It's a step. Damn, I feel so bad for her. Yeah, that that really sucks. Man, this season is getting a little darker than last season. Oh, we are. There's just one more little piece to the puzzle. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, is Sydney using Eclipso on him? Oh no, what's happening to him? Oh wait, are his powers manifesting? Oh, yeah, because they teased that last season. <sighs> Just one problem after another. Alright guys, that was Stargirl Season 1, episode 5. Phenomenal episode, a lot of good build-up. I really love how they use Cameron in this episode. We're seeing that Cameron is a little darker now, especially after his dad died, and they're really teasing him becoming high school junior. I re it does seem like he's not joining the ISA, but part of me feels like he he's going to eventually. I think he's going to find out what really happened, and I think maybe Sydney will use that to her advantage by using Eclipso to manipulate him which i'm not looking forward to that he and courtney have such great chemistry and i got s they were so close to having their first kiss man so i'm really hoping they develop that relationship a bit more before he eventually turns i'm very curious what the, uh what the motive of his grandmother is because at first it seemed like she wanted to bring him into the life 
um, but then and didn't want him anything to be with Courtney. But now in this episode, it kind of seems like she doesn't want him in the life and wants him away from Sydney. So I'm very curious what her motives are. And a surprise is that she has ice power. So I didn't expect that. So it kind of seems like the ice meta power has been in their family for quite a while maybe since her or maybe she inherited from her family or something so that's interesting to dive into and the episode ended with him developing his powers a bit more because they kind of teased that uh at season in season one but now it seems like they're finally starting to manifest um so i'm very curious to see that and i really like that scene with him and sydney like camera really showed her who's boss man like damn i did not expect that um really loving the stuff with mike and that storyline between him and Pat, I really love the relationship dynamic with the family, so I hope they develop that a bit more. I'm very curious how they're going to convince Mike to join the ISA. I don't think he's going to. I think it might, at the very least, be attempted, but I don't think he's going to join the ISA. If anything, something that would be interesting, it could be something where Mike joins the ISA, but he goes undercover. That could be an interesting story if they want to do that. I'm not sure how they're going to handle that story to make it convincing, because, you know... I feel like going undercover with the ISA is going to be near impossible for him with the Black Diamond. I really do like, um, again, I've said this already in a few of my reactions, I really love the actor they got to who portrays um, Eclipse. That was a really cool, uh, really great choice. Um, he plays that character so well. I can't really picture anybody else in that role right now. Uh, and I really like the effects they had in this episode. Um, like the, with... Um, the teacher becoming like this paint monster i really love they really nailed the horror elements of eclipso in this season so i can't wait to see more of that later uh and um they really did a good job on playing off the fear factor on all of the, their fears and i really do like how beth is finally confronting her parents about the divorce because that's a very that's very hard to deal with as a kid especially um when you're that young so I'm very curious to see um, how that storyline is going to play out. Uh, I really hope before Cameron terms, he and Courtney at least start some type of relationship because they, they are slowly building that up. And overall, really enjoy this uh, season so far. And they're really there's a lot of really good character building moments here. I'm really liking the stuff with Cameron, the stuff with the JSA, the ISA. So much character building and they're doing a really good job so far in my opinion. Uh, but anyway, guys, um, yeah, I'm gonna end it right here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications to miss any future content. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all that good stuff. And uh, follow, feel free to follow me on Patreon. I'm gonna be posting my uncut reactions on there. I already have my Smallville, Doom Patrol, and Black Lightning reactions up there, uncut, of course. And I'm gonna be posting my uncut reactions here uh, on Patreon as well. So, yeah. And also, feel free to comment down below your current theories. I'd like to get the discussion rolling in the comments. And yeah, I'm going to end it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.